Okay, sit down, take your reading books out for me. Over the past 18 months, face coverings have almost become part of the school uniform, an item that some of these pupils aren't taking off, even now they can. Personally, I wouldn't take it off, but that's just because I know that half my family is still vulnerable for it. It's our GCSE year, so I think it's important because we don't want to miss anything. The change from wearing masks to not wearing masks, it, wa it was like extremely sudden. Like, you'd walk out the house in the morning with a mask in your pocket, you get to school and it's then it's just, oh, by the way, you don't have to wear them. In Scotland and Northern Ireland, mask wearing in secondary schools remains the norm for now, with Wales keeping them until at least February half term. In England, they were mandatory in the classroom until yesterday and are required in communal areas until Thursday. From next week, the government says it's no longer necessary to wear face coverings in English schools at all, with the Education Secretary saying he will personally vet any plans to bring them back. Unions have described that as micromanagement, saying schools are better placed to make those decisions for themselves. We found the upper quartile already, which was 31. And while the government insists ditching the mask is the only way to guarantee vital face-to-face -face education, teachers here say it puts that very aim at risk. It feels a little bit premature at the moment. It's far better that we wear the masks, which helps us um, keep children, adults in the school building, than having to go online. Um, it's the lesser of the two evils, is what I'd say. In fact, we believe more than 100 schools have said they will defy the order to scrap masks, with some criticising the timing of the decision. The timing is political for various reasons, um, but I think there's teachers, um, they are right. Uh, if children are wearing masks in schools, there'll be less transmission in schools. But schools will still be safe, say ministers. I think we've largely dealt uh, with the pandemic. It, we're not out of the woods. But I think that the main uh, challenge that the pandemic posed has been, has been met. And while many here do eventually want to leave behind face coverings and the controversy they bring, others feel that for now they're a precaution that leave their education less exposed to risk. Hannah Miller, ITV News, Stockton.